Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, May the 6th, 1865, Samuel Clyde Swain of the 58th U.S. Colored Troops noted in his diary that the earthworks at Rodney has been completed. Even though Robert E. Lee has surrendered to U.S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9th, Union troops continue their work on federal fortifications at both Natchez and Rodney. Swain, who was in charge of completing the work on Fort McPherson in Natchez, had gone to Rodney to supervise members of the 70th U.S. Colored Troops, who were working feverishly to complete the earthworks. Swain noted that the men worked throughout the night of May 6, and when completed, the battery held four field guns that provided same protection for the Union boats along Mississippi River. Throughout the war, Confederate forces had fired on Union boats passing below the bluffs at Rodney. H. and H. Bennett of the 12th Wisconsin recorded in his diary that one occasion, rebel soldiers had fired into passing boat between Rodney and Waterproof, killing two women, a chambermaid and the wife of the Union chaplain. Today, nothing remains of the battery at Rodney, perhaps Mississippi's most photographed and visited ghost towns. I'm Kyle Williams, a junior at Adams County Christian School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.